all our power went out in the stadium. Uh, everything is completely blocked. We're working on auxiliary right now. And as I was saying, Tom, the uh, Lancers are red hot. Uh, the stadium is red hot right now, but uh, the Cosmos haven't lost a game in the last year and a half. Yes, indeed. Uh, the Cosmos, One game. The, the New York Yankees of the North American Soccer League and that they win and they're also filled with controversy. We'll touch on that as the telecast progresses, but suffice it to say they've won 37 of 38 here at the Meadowlands, virtually unbeatable. New England turned the trick last season one time, that's it. But we should say also, as Ronnie mentioned, the Lancers have won five of six. This is a stronger team that I've seen all season long, and no one knows it better than board chairman Charlie Shiano. Right, Charlie? Okay, so, Charlie. Ronnie, Tom, this is going to be a fantastic game. And, you know, I thought for a minute when the lightning struck and we lost the lights that Mike Ardway was here in Yankees, I mean, in the, the middle lands. I'm excited about this match. Shep is excited. Uh, Bronco Segoda is starting. Coach Popovich is going with one goalie. Takes a lot of courage, a lot of guts for that guy to make that type of determination. It's going to be Why one. Why don't you explain that, Chuck? Game. Explain that one goalie situation. Well, you can only dress 16 players, and uh, Pop has so much talent on the team that he just can't, in his heart, sit down Silva or Pat Ericoli. So he's going with um, forwards and defenders on the bench and just one goalie, and it's, got, it's really loaded with talent. And by the way, the stadium is waiting for power. Yes, the stadium is black right now, and we can't do anything. We have auxiliary power. We're working on that. The uh, players are standing by uh, uh, for the national anthem, which they cannot play because they don't have the power. And, of course, the game can't go on until we get the power. So, uh, Tom, do you have any other further... Ronnie, we might talk on this controversy as long as we have a moment mm -hmm. or two. The situation is, as you know, this club is 14 and 4, uh, best record in the league and most points in the league. But they had a coach that was uh, fired. We'll talk more about that later. Kinalia perhaps was responsible for the firing, just as the uh, Italian star striker was responsible for bringing Fermani here. Much more to touch on later, but why don't you take it, Ronnie? Okay, we're going to take a break right now. We'll see how the uh, stadium situation is concerned. We'll be right back. Thirty percent fusion over travel prices, it makes sense to turn your travel questions over to a professional. Hisa Travel at 3047 West Henrietta Road in the Town Line Plaza takes the worry out of your travel plans. And for the month of July, the first 50 people to book travel or accommodations through Hisa will receive a free pair of tickets to the Lancers Cosmos game in Rochester on August 5th. Call Hisa Travel at 424-4650. Hisa can take you all over the world with no charge for their services. Hisa Travel at 424-4650. Don't waste gas. Don't waste money. The two ideas behind every Toyota. Cars designed to meet your requirements for today and tomorrow. Like the Toyota Corolla two-door sedan. The lowest priced Toyota. Its clean running 3K engine was conceived to burn and energize every drop of fuel cleanly. And most important, efficiently. A definite advantage for anyone who doesn't want to waste money. But I'm not talking about just the Corolla. I'm talking about all Toyotas. All 37, every one, every Toyota is built to take the clean running concept and execute it in every area of automobile technology, like clean uncluttered lines, clean functional interiors, and clean cut answers to what you want. Toyota, don't waste gas, don't waste money. Hey, when you got it, you got it. And as you can see, it's still dark at the Meadowlands. They do not have the lights. We are in the middle of a, of a lightning storm, a, a thunderstorm here in the New Jersey area. It is dark out there, and as you can see by your picture, uh, you can't see anything. The lights are completely out. We're working on auxiliary only. Uh, there are a few lights on, the scoreboard lights and the clock lights. Uh, we do have a couple of players that we want to talk about, Chuck, uh, namely Bronco Segoda, and of course we have a new player also. Well, Bronco Segoda, number one, Ronnie. Now, here is a player just turned 18 who has uh, not yet reached full maturity as a professional soccer player, but he has so much native talent and he has so much ability uh, in both shooting and running. He, we didn't get a chance to see him in the last game against Seattle. His dribbling ability, his fantastic ability to dribble with both feet, turn, shoot on a dime, and very, he can play in a tight area, and he has very accurate shooting range. Now, the other player who I am most happy about is a player by the name of Val Tuxia, 
who of course played with the Toronto Metros in 1977. Ronnie, this is the type of player who has national team experience, who is very strong, and who is physical. Now we don't, you know, Chilla is physical, but he's not quite as physical as Tuxa. Tuxa can take command. If, he, um, if, if everything's going right, he can take command of that midfield, direct it, capture the ball, and distribute it. Very strong, very effective player. A couple him with Tuxa and Huja. Husha, and then, of course, Sagoda, and then the strong front line, fantastic. Okay, now, Sagoda will be starting tonight. Tushka will not be starting, but uh, he will be in uh, uniform. I he look for Val to come in at the second half with about 45 minutes, a very tough play. And then, of course, Piero Prati, we haven't even talked about, but this player, of course, the two dynamite goals the first time uh, playing for the Lancers. We look uh, for a lot of action out of him, too. Okay, we're going to take a break and hope that the lights come back on here <laughs> at New Earth at the, uh, the Meadowlands and Giant Stadium. And we'll also have the starting lineups for you right after these messages. I went into Wendy's for the first time. I had a hot and juicy, and I loved it. That night, I had a wonderful dream. I took hot and juicies everywhere. All I could think about was that juicy meat, those juicy toppings. So, I decided to devote myself to bringing pleasure to people just as I have found it. You want a real good hamburger? I stopped shopping around to get more for my now account dollar. I got the best, checks from Security Trust. All it takes is an $800 balance, and I get free checking. And with checks, all my checking funds earn 5% interest. Nobody pays more. It's important to me. Free checking with only an $800 balance, and my checking funds earn a maximum 5% interest. You want the best, get the best. C-H-E-X, checks, only from Security Trust. Back at Giant Stadium, Ron DeFrance along with Tom Pippins and Chuck Chiano, in case you just joined us. Uh, the game ordinarily would be started by now, except we're in the middle of a rainstorm here. The uh, power has gone out. We're working on auxiliary right now. The lights have gone back on uh, maybe uh, a quarter of the lights, Tom, but I think they're only working on auxiliary, and it's a matter of time before they get it back to full power. We really came on with a bang, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> to talk more about that controversial situation with the Cosmos, as we were saying before, Fermani is rolling along in great shape, and he's fired. Now, ironically, Kinalia, the Italian star striker, as we told you before, many say was responsible for bringing Fermani to the position of coach with the Cosmos, and Fermani contends that Kinalia was responsible for letting him go. And really, as far as who coaches the team, there are actually two men who coach the team right now. Klaveka, the assistant coach, was promoted to the uh, top position, and then three days later, they brought in uh, Professor Julio Massey, who is tech the technical director, if you will. And Julio Massey, I understand, runs up and down in practice with a tie and coaches the team. He works with Klaveka. But they have so much talent, so much money. They're so deep. It's going to be difficult for the Lancers. But I think, I truly think, if there's a time for the Lancers to defeat this club, here especially, it would be today when they're playing their best soccer ever. And, and really, what a potent lineup. And I think to talk more about Prati would be to talk, certainly, Charlie Schiano, about uh, a world-class player. Did you see all the signs that were out, speaking of Prada? He has a lot of fans here in New York, as does Shep Messing. Doesn't he really? You know, we, we, we drove in on the team bus, and it was so great because there were signs all over, and they were saying, where's my brother, where's my son, where's my cousin, where's Prati? And signs for Prati all over the field, of course, just as we were coming through the parking lot, all those people tailgating, you heard them saying, you know, uh, where's Shep, Shep, Shep? So Shep and Prati really are the two big stars recognizable on the Lancer team here, and also, of course, Bronco Segoda. We see a lot of people asking for Bronco. It's raining. We haven't really told the fans. It's coming down in sheets here. We're, we're very high up there, coming down in sheets, and there's a, some lightning, too. Okay, let's take a look at our starting lineups now, Chuck. Maybe you can help us along as we take a look at the players one by one, and we'll start off with the defense and what a, more, a powerful defense we have. On the left uh, to the right, well, that's uh, Jim Pollan, of course, at right fullback. Number five, Nick Mihadovic at, at stopper, and he's been playing beautiful. Mirlam Foslik, and then, of course, at left fullback, Demir Sotevsky. Okay, we'll go to the midfielders now. Of course, you met Shep Messing at the beginning. Uh, Shep opened our show by uh, mentioning this was his first time back. And I think they are starting to play, Chuck. Okay. Yeah, well, I think they're starting to play. If we can get right to the okay. start of play, it would be even better. Of course, midfield. the Chilla. And then, of course, uh, there's uh, our good friend uh, Bronco and Pusa. Okay. Play is underway. We're back to normal now here at the Meadowlands. Lights are back on. Uh, most of the lights are back on. They're playing uh, 
with uh, maybe about a quarter of the light still off, but it's still good enough to play. The uh, Cosmos are in the white with the uh, black trim and the Lancers in their familiar gold and blue, their traveling colors. Okay, the Lance, the uh, Cosmos have it, and they bring it down. Cosmos will have um, Brasic in goal, and he's uh, he's been playing goal the last couple of games for the Lancers. Of course, as you know, Brand is already gone. And uh, maybe you can get Phyllis in on uh, Brasic, Tom. Well, as far as uh, Brasic is concerned, he's a 22-year-old uh, goalie who... Uh, Played his freshman year at St. Louis University and then decided to drop out of school and join the Cosmos. This is his second year. He saw limited action during the season last year with the club, but gained valuable experience playing with the Olympic team and the U.S. national team. And many say that he is ready now to step in and be uh, a world-class uh, goalkeeper. He's 22 years old. He's on an amateur contract. He wants to maintain that amateur status so that he can uh, possibly compete for the United States uh, in the future. A very, very good player. Okay, Lancers on the attack now. Branko Segoto with a shot. Bounces off Versich. And it's picked up there by the defense. And it's knocked out. It'll be a goal. It'll be a corner kick for the Lancers. A powerful shot by Branko Segoto. I'll tell you, that's Branko all the way. And Popovich says when you get the chance early on, take the shot two or three times. And then, of course, pass. Keep uh, vary the attack as much as you can. And you saw how hard that shot was. Bursic couldn't stop it. Magnificent player, Branko Segoto. Here's Husa over to take the corner now. Lancers are setting up. Here it comes. Little low shot. And it's picked up there by the Cosmos. But Jimmy Pollahan comes in. Gets it back to Husa, and it's uh, into touch. Lancer Ron, throwing. Ron, I should mention that uh, Popovich said in the locker room before the match, he sees Sagota as the key, and he wants his Lancers to run. Pressure for 90 minutes. If you bother this club, four check, if you will, like in hockey. Uh, a lot of uh, marking up front. It's going to make it difficult. They may become frustrated, and that has to be to Rochester's advantage. Okay, for the Cosmos up front, they'll have Mark Liverich, Giorgio Kinalia, Dennis Stewart, uh, at midfield, Ricky Davis, Bogey Bogushevitz, we'll call him Bogey throughout the game, Terry Garbett, and in the back line, they have a lot of injuries. In the back line, Francisco Mourinho, he's back after being injured. His second game back, Morris Bandoff and Carlos Alberto will be the uh, center defenders, and Nelsie Morais will be the right halfback. So here come the Cosmos now. Long pass down. And that's Morais overlapping on the right-hand side. Morais throws it in. Giorgio Kinali, of course, leading the club in goals. There's Bogey. Bogey chips it over. Here's uh, Shep coming out. But Chetevsky hit it over the goal. It'll be a corner kick and a quick one for the Cosmos. Very quickly, they get it inside. Ronnie, could I mention here what they do with the corner kick? Many times the Cosmos do not take the corner kick, but they do just what they did. They'll pass. They'll get it out as quickly as possible and try to catch you off guard. All right, that was Mourinho. Mourinho overlapping, and you'll find a lot of that by Mourinho in this game. He is um, a halfback that plays more forward than halfback, and he shows it as far as leg out. Gets it back to the goalkeeper. That, that was a very good play because it showed Stanovich is getting behind Mourinho. Okay, Mourinho, as we mentioned, has scored five goals so far this season, five assists for 15 points. So he does his share. Lancer's coming back now. Prati over to Gergerev. Gergerev taking his time. Here's Sutevsky inside, gets bumped. Layan says the ref, there's a shot, broken up inside. Broken up by Bandoff. Ron, the key to this match, according to the Lancers, the first 15 minutes of each half. If the Lancers can keep the Cosmos from scoring and perhaps control the tempo psychologically, it's a great advantage, particularly here at the Meadowlands. Cosmos coming back on the left-hand side over here to Liverich, and it's broken up. That was Garbett. Garbett to Bogey. Bogey inside to Tewart, broken up by the Lancers. Here's Sela. Sela over on the left-hand side. Husa has it now, and the Lancers bring it back. Pollahan and Husa. Pollahan directing traffic. Over on the left-hand side to Bronco Segoda. He uh, fanned on that shot. And the Cosmos bring it back now. Still pouring rain out here. We lost our power at the beginning of the game. And the game did start a little bit later than uh, normal. But we're underway now. We did introduce the um, line. There's Stewart. Try to get it back to uh, 
Kinalia, but that was broken up. Here comes Stanovic. Stanovic with a shot. Wide left. Still in play. Still in play. Hits the pole. The interesting point about that is Prati came to the midfield and let a nice lead pass for Stanovic. And Stanovic beat Bandoff. Took him one-on-one -on -one and beat him. Bandoff was actually holding him. But Hyatt didn't call the foul because Stanovic, with his strength, outran him. Okay, here's Bogey now. Bogey. Here's Garbutt. Garbutt looking for Tuart, breaking down the right side. Broken up in there by Poslich. Poslich gets it back to Shep Messing. We have 38-54 remaining. It's no score. The Cosmos and the Lancers and Cosmos Soccer 79 will continue in a moment. Genesean is believing the Northeast. It's good to be back. Man, did I miss the sea, the sand, the beautiful sunrises. The Northeast has a flavor all its own. And so does our beer, Genesee. Great taste every time. I'm a Genesee believer. You can count on Jenny taste, cause it's brewed in just one place. Genesee is believing. Copier companies have been introducing small copiers with a very interesting claim. And it's just as good as a Xerox. It's just as good as a Xerox. Then one day... And this compact copier is very versatile. Mm -hmm. It even copies on your own letterhead. Uh -huh. yeah, it's inexpensive, but best of all... I know, it's just as good as a Xerox. Uh, well, um, it is a Xerox. The Xerox 2600, the compact copier that really is just as good as a Xerox. 37-40 remaining in this match. The Cosmos against the Lancers. Cosmos just had a corner a short while ago. They took a shot that was wide right. Cosmos on the attack once again. This is Mourinho overlapping again. Mourinho looking for a break. Gets it over the right-hand side. Into the danger zone now. Garbutt. Garbutt over to uh, the right-hand side to Alberto, but it's broken up there by Shatevsky. Lancers coming back now. Shatevsky with a long pass. Nobody down there, though. Versich. Takes it, and he'll get it right out. He was looking for Prati, and he just uh, hit it too hard. Some key matchups to mention for you. Uh, Palahan on Tuart, Shutevsky on Liverich, and Chila on Bogicevic. Broken no. up there by Shutevsky. And the Lancers come back again. Gagurev, Gagurev down the right side, being marked by uh, Mourinho. And it's into touch. It'll be... Cosmos ball. Mourinho gets it inside to Bogey. Bogey Bogashevitz. No goals, but 12 assists. He's the big assist man. There's Alberto. Inside to Garbutt. Back to Garby. Long pass. Inside. Alberto with that give and go. Oh, we're trying to get over to Canadium. A little bit too far, and there's Foslitz getting it out. I'll and it you. goes into touch again. I'll tell you, Ron, a brilliant play. There is Carlos Alberto, the famous sweeper coming from the deep position, uh, really Foslick's position, and almost setting up a brilliant goal for Giorgio Canaglia. He was just going to touch that to Canaglia. Well, as Tom mentioned, uh, Nick Mianovich will be on Canaglia. That's a tough job. And you see Nick very close, right by him. Here's Stewart. Stewart looking for Canaglia. Here's Stewart getting around. And a shot by Stewart. Wide left, and Shep deflected it. Nice save. Nice, nice covering by Shep Messing. It'll be a corner kick. We, we have a corner kick. We have a corner kick by the Cosmos. And it'll be Tour taking the corner. Shep did deflect it just wide right. Great dive by Shep going to his right. Sotepsky in there. There's a header. Wide left. Ooh. And Shep is a little bit angry at yes, Chilla. Yes, he was. It'll be a goal kick. 35-34 remaining in this match. Still no score. Lancer Soccer 79 will continue in a moment. Listen, I don't listen. But if you do, listen to me. This Briars raspberry yogurt is the greatest. The Briars people make it all natural, 100%. Real creamy and smooth. And are you listening? It's loaded with raspberries. Loaded. Creamy, smooth, full of fruit, and 100% natural. Briars. Real yogurt at its best. Did you hear that? <laughs> Let OTB put a little fun in your life. Run free at Finger Lakes, Belmont, and Pimlico. Enjoy the good life with OTB. Frisky and frolicky. At Buffalo Raceway and Monticello. OTB. 
Back at Giant Stadium, we have a throw in by the Cosmos. They just had a free kick, but it went off the wall. And uh, it'll be a goal kick for the Lancers, Shep Messing. Uh, looks like uh, Demir Shatevsky took a ball off the head there. But uh, he's rubbing it a little bit. I think he's going to be okay. And the Lancers bring it down. Cosmos marking very closely. Get it back to Shep. Jimmy Pollahan shovels it back to Shep. Rain has let up a little bit now. It isn't quite as bad. Really was coming down. A lot of thunder, a lot of lightning. Knocked our power off. Got our game underway a little bit late. But now we're uh, well underway. And everything's back to normal again. As far as uh, the Lancers are concerned, Bronco Segoda is the key to the game, according to Popovich. Offensively, he has to control and keep the pressure off. Very nice save right there by Versus. He has to keep the pressure uh, off people like Prati and Stajanovic, and that means that the other midfielders, Husa and Chila, Alberto, when he's in there, have to play defensively, up and down, and all the pressure we were talking about. Okay, Cosmo's coming back. Nice pass by Bogey. Bogey gets it over to Tuart here on the left-hand side now. Tuart being marked by Sutepsky, giving directions. Here's Tuart moving in. Tuart very quick. He gets around Sutepsky. He still has Poslich. Knocked down. And we have a timeout. And he gets a yellow card. Demir Sutepsky getting a yellow card by our referee. Well, Sutepsky is having a very difficult time with Tuart, who's playing brilliantly. He's backing up on it. Maybe he's going to have to take him down as long as he knows that Foslick is behind him. Well, Foslick was right behind him at the time. Of course, he didn't know it. Here's Bogey. Bogey will take it. Bogey with a shot. And it's going to in a shot of wide left. That was a beautiful play by uh, Bogey, who put a beautiful cross into the middle. Typical bogey Kinalia combination there. Bogey with uh, 12 assists so far this season, and many of uh, Kinalia's goals coming from Bogoshevitz. Our referee tonight is James Hyatt. Our linesman, Dino Suplatis, uh, and uh, Steve Zabo. And Kinalia with 18 goals in 1979. He had 34 and 30 NASL games to uh, break a record last season. There's Gagurev battling with Mourinho. Gives him a little elbow, and uh, they call a foul on Gagurev. And Freddie played behind Kinalia for the Cosmos last year. This is a big game for Freddie as well as Shep. And the good friends. Here's Tour. Look at him get around. Being knocked down by Bronco Segoda. Oh, what Bronco a play coming by back. Bronco. Nice pass in here to Mike Stanovich. Here's Mike going out with a shot. Left footed. And a nice save in there. By Versic. David Versic leads over and gets a save. Not quite enough on the shot, I don't think, Chuck. Ron, but what a nice defensive, strong defensive by Bronco Sagota, who just stole the ball away, and it just he's not being intimidated by these Cosmos at all, and that's impressive for an 18-year-old. Wasn't too long ago he was a Cosmo. Okay, here he comes back. Prati, Prati with a pass on the right-hand side. Nobody there, but uh, Mike Stanovich racing over there with he's Alberto. He's, he's balling just... with Alberto. Alberto picks it up. No whistle. Yes, there is a whistle. He's play on. Ball against Stanovich, but the referee says play on. So Cosmos coming back now over the center stripe. Here's Bogey. Bogey sending it up. Gets it over to the right-hand side with a give and go. Bogey still has it. Ricky Davis. Here's Gabbert. Gabbert gets it, tries to get it back to Davis. The rookie for the Cosmos. There's a nice give and go. Back to Bronco. Bronco Segoda. Bronco with a little chip inside. And Versic lets go. It'll be a go kick. One thing Don Popovich wanted today uh, was to try and get the passes as precise as possible, not to waste too many passes with the Cosmos team, because it's dangerous when you waste passes against them. Well, our offense has to be strengthened with the acquisition of Segoda and, of course, Prati. Prati scoring those two goals in our last win at home. Here's the pass over on the right-hand side. This is uh, Liverich coming out to get it. Liverich gets it over to Mourinho. Mourinho with a little chip inside of Canalia. There's uh, Nicky knocking it out. Nick Mianovic goes over to Garbutt. Garbutt inside. Knocked out there by Shutevsky. There's a whistle. Offsides that time to the run. They played the offside trap, and it worked that time. They pulled up very nicely. Liverich offsides on the left-hand side. So the Lancers will come back, 30-46, remaining in this match. There's still no score here at Giant Stadium. Cosmos undefeated this year. Only one loss in the last uh, season and a half, and that was against New England. Nice pass over to Gregorov. 
Let's it go by. Alberto gets it now. Alberto, who controls that defense for the Cosmos, gets it to uh, Bogey. Bogey, who controls the midfield, gets it over to center stripe. He's being checked by uh, Sila. And it comes back to Mourinho. Mourinho to Alberto. Cosmo sending it up now over to the right hand side. Goes over to Marais. Marais chips it inside. Garbutt's in there. Here's Garbutt getting it back outside on the right hand side. Cosmo's trying to set something up here. Pitching it inside. And it goes outside. Lancer's breaking it up. So the Cosmos come back and try to set it up again. Alberto. Little uh, too far left for Ricky Davis. But there's a nice giving. Go to Davis. Here's Davis going in. And he scores. clears it, but the Cosmos recapture. They set this up. Alberto now looking for the empty man. He finds the, the man right there, chipped into the middle, and there's Bogatsevich give and go. Ricky Davis with his right foot now in the far right-hand corner. Magnificent play. Nothing much Shep could have done about that. So it is one to nothing. Cosmos leading. 29-07 left in the first half. And Ricky Davis, a 20-year-old American midfielder, one of the league's top young Americans, apparently Added for the NASL Rookie of the Year Award. He played for the University of Santa Clara before joining the Cosmos last year. Cosmos running. Cosmos on the attack. Here's uh, Bogey. Bogey setting it up. Chips it inside. Tuart. Tuart over to Gabbitt. Over to the right-hand side. Marino overlapping. Ricky Davis again. Davis gets it back outside to Garbutt. Here's Garbutt. Garbutt over here to uh, Bogey. Bogey with Alberto coming in. There's Mourinho. Mourinho back to Garbutt. Garbutt racing inside, and it goes over the goal line. It'll be a goal kick for the Lancers. Interesting. Mourinho, left pullback, is at the right inside position. They're all over the place. Okay, we have 28-10 remaining in the first half. The Cosmos lead at 1-0. Lancer Soccer 79 will continue in a moment. The heart of the L.A. Strip presents the 79 Fiat Strada, economy Italian style. Strada with front wheel drive, five forward speeds, and an EPA gas estimate of 28 miles per gallon in the city. See it at Paysetter now, along with the full and fun Fiat line. And, of course, the fabulous dots on a car for everything and everybody. Paysetter, dots and Fiat, 250 Lake Avenue, the heart of the L.A. Strip. Tuesday afternoon, June 26, Channel 13 Eyewitness News is alerted to a three-alarm fire at the Valetti Furniture Warehouse on Lyle Avenue. And within moments, a news crew takes to the air, providing you with a spectacular view of the scene while a second Channel 13 news team covers the situation on the ground. Eyewitness News, comprehensive, immediate, experienced. A news source you can depend on to be well informed. If it's important to you, it's important to Eyewitness News. Weeknights, 6 and 11 on Channel 13. Back at Giant Stadium, Lancers on the attack. Pass it, that has a goal! A goal by Shutovsky, and it's all tied up at 1-1. Gurgarev to Shutovsky, the Lancers tie it. Samir Shutovsky scores it, his first goal of the season from Freddy Gurgarev. Charlie, watch. what a beautiful one. We're did we catch that in the replay, Ron? Okay, here it comes again. Oh, that was a All right, it's all tied up at 1-1, 26-22 remaining in the first half. Here we go. Now watch Gurgarev carry it all the way down. What's interesting here, he waits till the forwards catch up. But not only the forwards, Sutevsky. Sutevsky, the right fullback. There is one touch in a beautiful play, and that, that's attacking soccer if there ever was any. Okay, Cosmo's back in the attack. Sutevsky playing a whale of a game here. Goes into touch. It'll be a Lancer throw in. And Sutevsky will throw it in. He just scored the goal to tie it up for the Lancers. All tied at 1 1. Here's Mourinho knocking it out. In the touch. That goal was psychologically was very important for the Rochester Lancers because they, they did it with a fullback. They did it with a great penetration by a young.
Freddie G. And it shows that, you know, they're just not going to lay down and just play defense. They're playing offense, and even the fullbacks are into the attack. And for, and for Demir, his first goal of 1979, he had, now has a total of three points. As far as Davis uh, was concerned, that was goal number two, and we're tied at one. Davis's goal coming at the 11:31 mark, and uh, Tutevsky's goal coming at 18:05. Raw tied at 1-1 here at Giant Stadium. Cosmos coming back now. Mourinho, who is all over the field. Here's Bogey directing traffic. Gets it over to Bogey. Bogey inside. Goes back to Bogey with a shot. Here's Mourinho. Oh, and it was a handball. Obstruction, he called, I think. Obstruction against Foslick. It would be an indirect kick in the penalty area. The indirect kick. So that means another uh, another Cosmos or another player will have to touch it before it can be counted as a goal if it goes in. So it's indirect. Uh, and that was an it. You see what Foslick did. He shielded uh, he shielded him so he, so he couldn't make a, uh, a scissor kick. Very nice play, an intelligent play by uh, by uh, Mirlan Fosnik, by the way. What we mean by an indirect kick is that Bogoshevsky cannot kick it in straight. He has to pass it off, and he did, to Kinalia, but it's broken up by the wall. Oh. And it, that's Bronco getting it out. But it goes back to the Cosmos. Here's Sutevsky battling Bogey, but they come back with it. Here's Liverich back to Bogey. Bogey inside to Alberto, really coming in tight. Here's Jimmy Pollahan out battling uh, Alberto, but the Cosmos get it back, and it comes back outside. Really coming in deep, the Cosmos. Back to Bogey. And broken up by Sila, but Bogey gets it back. Cosmos still have it. It's tied 1-1, 24-02 remaining, and it goes into touch. Lancer ball, Lancer throw in. We have 23-57 remaining in the first half. Scores tied, 1-1, Lancer soccer 79. We'll continue in a moment. Happy Meal. It's food and fun in a box. They get a regular size soft drink, a hamburger or a cheeseburger, regular size five, a McDonald's land cookie sampler. Mom, a surprise. Plus games, puzzles, jokes, and riddles. Six different Happy Meal boxes. Six different prizes. You're the reason we do it. Nobody can do it like McDonald's can. Celebrate Two Guys week-long 4th of July sale with fabulous bargains in every department. Save on this 10-inch portable grill. Two Guys priced at just $5.22. Or sturdy 5-web folding chairs, two for only $11. Or this 15-quart Igloo Playmate ice chest. Two Guys priced at only $10.77. Prestone Summer Coolant, two ninety seven dollars per gallon. Buy two gallons and get a $2 rebate from Union Carbide. We save money for you at Two Guys naturally. Okay, while you were away, the Lancers scored again. It was Brody scoring from Segoda, and the Lancers now lead it by a score of 2-1. to one. We're going to see it again in just a Here. moment. Oh. Lancers, uh, Cosmo's back on the attack now. That was Stewart brought down. As soon as we get a chance, we will show you the goal. And it scored was scored by Brody. Here it is. Now watch this. Here's a play. Nice pass. By Chilla. By Chilla. Now there's Bronco giving it to Pollahan on the left. Pollahan penetrates and then with his left foot sends a beautiful cross and there's Prati headed into the far right hand corner. Beautiful play. Now here it comes in slow motion. Jimmy Pollahan with his left foot. A beautiful cross. Lifts it. Prati coming in from the right side. Gets his head on it and just knocks it right past Bursic. Beautiful goal in there by Prati. Prati's third goal in just uh, not even two games yet. And the official time of that goal was 21-28. Piero Prati from uh, Palahan and Segoda. So our two newest players playing a big role in our last two games. Segoda and uh, Prati. There's uh, uh, Husha kicking it back inside. Lance is coming back now. Segoda gets it over the give and go to Jimmy Palahan. Back to Jimmy Palahan. Here goes Jimmy inside, but it's broken up by Alberto. Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1, 21-20, remaining in the first half. Charlie talked about the psychological advantage of being able to come back for the Lancers. Now to go ahead 2-1, to one, what this does for them, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the Lancers play a marvelous first half from here on in. They're doing a great job so far. Lancers coming up back now. Here's Miriam Foslich all by himself. Pass over to the right-hand side to Mike Stianovich. Mike Stianovich being uh, 
marked very closely by Bandoff. And we have a whistle. Be a Lancer throw in. But I'll tell you, Ronnie, it's coming fast and furious. And it's exciting. It's super soccer. Big, big oh. crowd on hand. Who would you estimate it at? Over 40,000. Over 40,000. Yeah, and of course, the articles say that the gas is really going to hold the uh, hold the uh, crowd down. Okay, Gergarev. Gergarev and Mike Stianovich. Gergarev gets it back outside to Sila. And the Lancers now setting it up. Sila being marked. Uh, that's Mourinho breaking it up. Uh, Husa tried to get it inside to somebody, but nobody was there. Cosmos coming back, and uh, that's uh, Chutevsky breaking it up. Oh, well, Liverage almost took part of Hoos's leg. Okay, play on, and that's what they do. Here's Gurgarev going inside, but it's broken up in there as Mark Liverage comes back. Mourinho now. Mourinho playing a forward position. He's a fullback. Here's Alberto, who is the sweeper, uh, going over the center stripe. Alberto stops. He tries to set it up. Gets it over here to Bogey. Here's Bogey with uh, Liverich moving down, but Bogey uh, directing traffic, setting it up, goes nowhere. Get a few boos from the hometown crowd. Stewart. Here's Stewart, he's always dangerous on that right-hand side with that burst of speed. There's a give and go, back to Stewart. Stewart still has it, here's Stewart going inside, and it's broken up inside, Lancers get it out of danger. I thought, Close call. I, I thought Stewart fouled Prati. I thought he really fouled Prati, but they didn't, uh, Jimmy Hyatt didn't call it, the referee. All right, it's a throw in for the Cosmos. They still have it. Mourinho. Mourinho setting it up for the Cosmos. Being marked by Sila. Sila trips down. Offside. Offside, it should be. And it is. Offside. Stewart offside to the left-hand side. Ron, we should mention that there are two world-class players not in the lineup be uh, because of injury for the Cosmos. One is Neskins, who has been called the best midfielder ever to step on the field, and another is uh, Reisbergen, an outstanding defensive player. But still, as we said before, New York so loaded with talent that it makes it very difficult for any team they play, particularly here. Of course, Beckenbauer on the 21-day disabled list. Here's a pass inside of Mike Stanovich. Mike Stanovich trying to outbattle the defense, but uh, it goes into Bursic, and Bursic gets it out. That was Bandoff and Stanovich. Bandoff in there in place of Reisberger, who was out with an injury. Cosmos, uh, a lot of injuries, having their problems, but they have a strong bench. And we have a strong bench right now. Oh, we On do. our bench, we have David Dorico, Luis Alberto, Ibrahim Silva. Uh, Val Tuska and Pat Arkeley. So there's a good strong bench. I would think, Charlie, one of the strongest benches in the history of the Lancers. It, it has been the strongest bench in the history of the Lancers. Just remember that last year, Silva played this game here in New York with a cast. Pat Arkeley was a starter, and now both of them are on the bench. So it tells you the quality of player has improved substantially. Okay, you just joined us. The Lancers are leading it by a score of 2-1. to one. Here's a nice play inside. Prati. Over to Gergreff. Here's Gergrev. Here's the cross. There's broken up in there by Alberto. Bogey coming back for the Cosmos. 17-46 remaining in the first half. Lancers leading it 2-1. Cosmos over the center stripe. Over the left-hand side to Alberto. Look at him. Oh, boy. He is a sweeper playing a forward position. Well, he's going to gamble now. They're going to, they feel they have to get this goal. Here's another guy that plays all over. Mourinho throwing it in for the Cosmos. He gets it into Alberto. Alberto back to Mourinho. He looks like he's playing with an injury, too, if you notice, Ron. His right thigh is taped. Yes, it is. He's been out with an injury, Chuck, uh, several games. He just returned the last game. Oh, nice play in there. Yes. Cosmo still have it. Try to get inside of Tuart, but it's knocked out by Husa. Bogey tried to get a nice play by Hisa. And Sila. And it goes over to Freddy Gurgarev. Here's Freddie down the right-hand side again. Freddie being marked by Garbutt. Oh, a nice pass and Bronco fans. Lancers still have it. Freddie tries to get it, but it's broken up. <laughs> Poor Bronco really fanned. Beautiful play. Beautiful play by Freddie G. Over to Bronco Segoda. I would have liked to have seen where that shot would have gone if he made contact with it. Oh, like he was running full blast. He had a good head of steam up. Here's Bogey into the danger zone. Bogey, checked by Sila, over the left-hand side. The garbage, back to Bogey again. Here's Bogey with a shot. High, ah, the crossbar. He doesn't, he doesn't shoot all that often. 16-14, remaining in the first half. The Lancers leading the Cosmos 2-1. More Lancers soccer, 79 in a moment. 
15 minutes remaining in the first half. The Lancers leading it by a score of 2 to 1. Rod de France along with Tom Pippins, Chuck Ciano. Gentlemen, you notice how Kinalia is not really getting the ball. Oh, they yeah. can't get it to Kinalia, which is a good indication of how Nick Mianovic is covering him. Nick Mianovic all over Kinalia so far in this match. Uh, the score was uh, by Ricky Davis of the Cosmos. That came at 11.31. That was the first goal of the match. And then uh, Freddy Gergerev passed over to um, Demir Shutevsky, who scored for the Lancers, made it 1-1. And then it was Jimmy Palahan and Bronco Segoda assisting on Piero Prati's goal at 21-28. And the Lancers leading this match by a score of 2-1 with 14-13 remaining in the first half. What's really effective at this point is that there are tremendous substitutes on the bench who can come in in case some of the Lancers get winded or tired on this magnet. It's really a majestic field out here. It's a big field. Way to downpour, but it really doesn't affect it too much on this AstroTurf. Cosmos coming, getting back in the side of Canalia. Here's Nick Mianovic coming over, and Shep makes the save. Both Nick and Shep covering up on that one. Almost got it into Canalia. Okay, it'll be a goal kick now for the Lancers. We can see the play coming in. Here it comes in. Canalia gets it. If you get he can shielding, shielding uh, Canalia so he can't get to the ball. And a fine save by Shep Messi. Lancers coming back. But the Cosmos break it up. Garbutt, Sela. Here's Zutevsky. Zutevsky gets it over on the left-hand side where there's nothing but Lancers. And the Lancers coming back now. Bronco Segoda heads it down. Starts dribbling over to center stripe. Bronco with room. Long pass inside. Tries to get into Prati. Broken up by the Cosmos, and they come back now. Ricky Davis. Carlos Here's Alberto. Alberto. Yep. Alberto. Alberto inside. Toward Zutevsky there to break it up again. Playing a fine game into Gergerev. Here's Freddy. Freddy down the right-hand side. Being marked now by Mourinho. Here's Freddy. Freddy tries to get in inside. There's a whistle. It's a foul on uh, Nelson Marias. It'll be a shot, a direct kick for the Lancers from about 30 yards out. Direct free kick for the Lancers. The difference between the direct and the indirect is that a player can score right from the kick. On an indirect, he has to pass it off to another player. So this will be a direct free kick, and we'll see who takes it for well, the Lancers. It looks like it's Prati. Prati or, or, or Freddie G are the two, but Prati wants to take this one. We have a lot of Prati signs throughout Giant Stadium here. And as we came in, we had many fans the Lancers along the are roadway saying that's not, that's for not 10 yards. It doesn't look like 10 yards either. Okay, here it is. Here's Prati. Here's the kick inside on left-hand side. It goes wide left. I'll well, they talking to the referee, but I don't think the referee can understand him. No. He hasn't uh, really mastered the English languages yet. Well, Jim Hyatt's Scottish. <laughs> Jim Hyatt's Scottish. <laughs> That's an understatement. I don't think he knows one word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cosmo's coming back quickly now. There they come. Ricky Davis. Here's Davis, the rookie, who scored the only goal for the Cosmos. Tuart goes back to Tuart. Here's Mourinho. Here's Mourinho winding up with a shot. And Shep with the save. <laughs> and here Shep I am. Messing with a fine save. <laughs> Here I am clapping. Look at this shot. Here's Mourinho taking the pass now from Ricky Davis, letting it go with his right foot, and there's Shep Messing covering that left-hand corner beautifully, and he caught it. And I'll tell you, I'm so excited I was clapping here in the booth. I guess I am just too much of a fan, Ron. Well, I'll tell you, this Mourinho is a fullback, but he scored 26 goals uh, last year to lead his team. He's uh, had 150 goals so far in his career. Uh, that's amazing for a defender. Here comes, whoops, and a surf ball in there. There's Stewart being pulled down by Jim Pollahan outside the penalty area. So it'll be uh, a free kick for the Cosmos. It was a good play by the Lancers that time. And here we have it. And there it is being held back. Jimmy Pollahan holding back to it. And uh, a good play by Jimmy Pollahan. Again, the technical foul that had to be called. Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1. to one. We have 10.35 remaining in the first half. But There's the wall being set up by the Lancers. It's been an exciting first half. Certainly has. And we're leading besides. Which makes it all the more exciting. Here it comes. Broken up by the wall. Here's Mike Stanovich coming back. Mike, out. there's the whistle. They called the foul against right, uh, the like Ricky Davis. Yeah. Lancers possession. Ricky Davis gets it back. And the Lancers will bring it out now. We have 10-14 in the first half remaining. Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1. to one. 
Cosmos have not lost at home this year. They've only lost once in the last year and a half here at Giant Stadium. That was against New England last season. Inside of Canalia, broken up by Nick Mianovich. Gets back to Bogey. Here's Bogey battling with uh, Husa. Cosmos get it back. Alberto. Alberto directing traffic now. Alberto inside of Morais. Here's uh, Bogey to Tuart. Over on the right-hand side. Davit tripped down. Franco Segoda. Over on the right-hand side. Inside. Broken up in there by the Lancers. Here's Alberto trying to come in. Outside to Mourinho. Here's Mourinho with a shot. And Shep Messing with a save. <laughs> Two straight <laughs> saves. Shep Messing on Mourinho. And, and look at this play by Mourinho as he comes in, touches with his left foot, then with his right foot, really lets a cannon shot go. And there's Shep Messing covering it beautifully and catching the ball. Fantastic. All right, we have 9.04. Shep Messing with a lot of fans here. Prouty with a lot of fans. Bronco Segoda, of course, uh, this team, many of these players played indoor. Jimmy Pollahan, all the rest of the team. Chutevsky and uh, played indoor right here in Long Island. So they have a lot of fans out here. That was a handball. Slapped it with his hand. Lancers have it anyway. 8.41 remaining in the first half. Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1. to one. Goals by Prate and Sutevsky. The goal for the Cosmos was by Davis. Lancers coming back now. Usa gets it over. So Jimmy Pollahan, but it's broken up. Here's Alberto. Alberto coming in. Got inside. Tuart lets it go by him. He thought Canale was behind him. Fortunately, it was a Lancer. Sutesky again stepping in uh, very nicely, kicking that ball away. Okay, here's Bogey. Bogey with a long pass inside, broken up by Foslich. Lancer's bringing it back. Sila gets it out. Here's Prate. Prate gets it over to Mike Sianovich. Lance is coming back. We have a three on two. Here's uh, Gergerup over on the right hand side. There's a slip and a long pass over to Gergerup. He's all alone. And they call it outside. On all sides on Freddie Gergerup, yeah. 744 remaining in the first half. Lancers leading it two to one. Lancer Soccer 79 will continue in a moment. You've heard the name. Step messing with another great save. Shep Messing making his first appearance here at Giant Stadium since he played for the Cosmos back in 1977. He was looking forward to this game, as he mentioned to you at the outset of the show. And the That's last time in. the uh, Lancers won this game against this uh, Cosmos team was at Holiday Stadium on July 15th, 1977, one nothing. Did you believe Hyatt just called dangerous play, high kick against uh, Piero Prati. It didn't look that way to me, but those are some of the calls you'll see. Okay, these two teams have met 19 times. Cosmos hold a 10-7-2 edge. Last year's Cosmos beat us here 5-1. to one. That was when uh, Canale and uh, Tuart scored two goals apiece. Neither one have scored yet. Here's a long pass inside. There's Tuart with a header. Looks like it's going to be a corner kick. Looks, looks like it was Nick Mianovich who cleared that ball. She, she, Shep was right there. We have it on the disc. Now we can see it. Here comes the penetration. And then there's the... Uh, the, the here comes Nicky Mihadovich. Look at him get his head there and beat Tour to the ball. Okay, looks like it'll be another corner kick for the Cosmos. And the fans starting to open up here. 535. They're teamed down by a score of 2-1. to one. The corner... Here's the, saw, here's the shot inside, but it's broken up by Jimmy Pollahan. Goes into the sands. It'll be another corner kick. There's Stewart. Bogey going away. There's Stewart with the cross inside. There's a shot. And Shep Messi comes out and makes a save. Beautiful. Nick Mianovich throws his hands up. Nick Mianovich really shielded Canalia from that head ball. And Mianovich Shep was playing an outstanding there. game today with, against Canalia. Shep Messing getting it out now. Five minutes exactly left in the first half. Lancers leading it. There's a whistle. Foul on Calling Boris a foul Bandoff. against number 18, Boris Bandoff. You notice this crowd, gentlemen, starting to get a bit impatient. Popovich predicted this would happen. If the Lancers held a lead like this, this late in the first half, and, of course, that has to hurt the Cosmos. They're not used to this kind of thing, particularly here. There's Bronco. Bronco Segoda. Sila coming in. Okay. Now he's ready. There it is. Little chip inside. The Prati. Broken up by the Cosmos. Cosmos coming back. Here's Bogey. Bogey drumming it down. 
He's being checked by Segoda. Still has it. Over to center stripe. Over to right-hand side. Cosmo's coming back now. Look at Alberto overlapping. He is farther down than anybody. Inside the bogey. Back to bogey once again. Here's bogey. And Shep there to make the save. Genalia stops by to chat a little bit with his former teammate. And great friends, too. They're good friends of one another. There's a bad play there. It'll be a throw in by the Cosmos. Let's hope the Lancers can recover from this now. They would have had it, but they threw it away. Here's Alberto over on the right-hand side. Alberto to Gabbitt. Back inside with a give and go. Here's a shot inside. Broken up in there by Poslich. They still have it. Morais gets it over to Mourinho. And they're really overlapping. There's Morais going inside. Broken up by Poslich. Nobody back now. Here's uh, Stianovic. Stianovic gets it back to Bronco. Bronco tried to lead Prate a little bit too far. And the Cosmos go back and recover. I'll tell you, the Cosmos have everybody up front. And if the Lancers can break away... They'd like to tie it up now before the uh, before the half <laughs> end, so they're shooting everybody. Johnny, take a look at that up in the sky there. <laughs> oh, my God. You must have had that flown in from Rochester, Charlie. I'll tell you. I hope Stoley sees that. <laughs> Why don't we explain what it is? There's a plane flying over carrying a mask that says Giorgio stinks. Now, Giorgio Cagliari, who's scoring more goals than anybody else in the history of the league, is Giorgio stinks. I can't believe it. Well, probably somebody was listening to the game and... <laughs> Got a little fed up with it so far, the way things have been going. Ron, you talked about the way the Cosmos have been overlapping with Alberto and Mourinho. Mourinho, one of the uh, innovators of that total football. I'll give it to you for a moment. That's okay. Lancers have it. Go ahead, Tom. That total football style of defense, overlapping on attack and, of course, uh, returning on defense. And all the Cosmos do it, particularly Alberto. That's why, as you mentioned, Mourinho has 150 career goals before this season, which really is astounding for a defender. And he's very, very good in the air. Well, they, uh, they cover for each other, but the Lancers could take advantage of that situation. Cosmos coming back now. There's 2.15 left in the first half. Lancers leading it 2-1. Cosmos have it. That's uh, Bogey getting it over inside the Liberich. Back to Bogey again. Liberich moving inside. They're looking for an offside. Shep comes over to make the save, but the goal is wide open. Here's the shot, and it goes off the crossbar. Goal was left wide open. Shot went off the top of the crossbar. Uh, I guess we got that on the disc. Here it comes. Now look at this brilliant penetration by Rick Davis. Shep is out of the play. The ball crosses through. No one can get through it. Lippridge can't get through it. And finally, Mourinho comes with the left foot. Sends one over the goal. Over the goal. So now it'll be a goal kick. That was a magnificent play. No one could get a hand on the ball. The speed of the game is fantastic today, Ron and Tom. If you notice, it's back and forth. And it's one of the fastest games I think we've uh, we've seen this year. And needless to say, Messing has been outstanding. He was very serious all day long today, more so than I've ever seen him. This has to be one of the big days in his life. Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1. to one. Lancers get it out now. There's 133 remaining in the first half. Cosmos coming back. Here's Morais. Rice gets it over to Tuart. Broken up there by Sela. Sela slips down, but the Lancers still have it. And it goes into touch. It'll be a throw-in for the Cosmos. They quickly move over. There's uh, Mourinho. Mourinho gets it over here to Vandoff. Back to Mourinho. Mourinho over to Alberto. Alberto over the center stripe. Little tapper over on the right-hand side to Garbutt. Here's Garbutt moving down. Garbutt has Morais overlapping now. Gets over to Mourinho. He lets it go for Alberto. Alberto into the danger zone. Pass inside. Bronco heads it out. Bronco Segoda. Mourinho tries to keep it in. He does. And Nick Mijanovic comes and heads it out. 46 seconds remaining. That was Morais going down. Stojanovic took him down. Cosmos coming back. And Miriam Poslitz gets it out. 34 seconds remaining in the half. Nick Mijanovic collided in there with Bandoff. Play on. Mourinho, 24 seconds into Canalia. All for the offsides. They got the offsides. And it'll be a go kick for the Lancers. 15 seconds, 14 and counting down. Here's Marilyn Poslich. Let's get it out of there now. Here's Bronco, seven seconds. Broken up in there. Here come the Lancers. The Cosmos back once again. Here's Stewart. The clock runs out. There's the whistle. The end of the first half. And the score, the Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1 to one at the end of the first half. 
I'll tell you, it has been a superb first half. Just a great first half all around and one that I've thoroughly enjoyed. Okay, we'll be back with our halftime activities. We'll recap those goals right after these messages. Giant Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. The Lancers leading the Cosmos by a score of 2-1. to one. It is halftime. Entertainment out on the field. In a moment, we hope to see a little bit of the Lancer dancers who came down here in the trip. The Lancers uh, with goals. Well, first of all, the Cosmos scored first as Ricky Davis scored his second of the season, assisted by Bogushevich, his 13th assist of the season at 15-16. Uh, then the Lancers came back at 18:05. Demir Sutevsky from a nice pass by Fred Gergerev, 18.05, and it was tied at 1-1. At 21-28, Piero Prate scored for the Lancers. That was assisted by Jimmy Pollahan and uh, Bronco Segota. Segota with his first point as a Lancer. So the Lancers lead it by a score of 2-1. And uh, as we go along, we hope to have the replays for you. But right now, Chuck, uh, why don't you recap some of the things that are coming up uh, as far as the Lancers are concerned. We have a lot of home games coming up and a lot of exciting soccer. I'll tell you, July is called the Knockdown of the Stars in Rochester because that's, that's the month we'll have everybody in town. Los Angeles, Minnesota, and important, I think the next home game is really the important one because it's a conference game against the Dallas Tornado. And that's July 6th at Hollander Stadium, game time, 8 o'clock. That's an important night for the Rochester. Lancers and we'll be facing Willie the Duck Lipkins and Rausch and five tremendous German players that the, that the uh, Dallas Tornado have brought to uh, to the United States. Of course, that will also be uh, Genesee Ten Cent Beer Night. So that's a night to get there an hour earlier, have uh, all the beer you want, uh, if you drink in fair amounts, uh, for 10 cents a cup courtesy of the Genesee Beer. Of course, that's a night that we're going to call Banner Night. And this is uh, an idea. They're putting banners on the field now, if we can get a shot of it, that next Friday night, July 6th, will also be Banner Night in Rochester. And we're going to do just what the Cosmos are doing now. You make your banner whatever size, whatever substance, bring it on the field, and we'll be giving away prizes. Those prizes will be to the first one, an NASL soccer ball, and then two sets of tickets to the L.A. game when Cruyff, the Flying Dutchman, comes to uh, Lancer Stadium. So we're kind of excited about it, Ronnie. And now there, we, there, are, the, there, there the are some of the posters, the banners you see, Do It Cosmos, Cosmic Cosmos, and uh, I can't read them all. There's another one about the Cosmos. And of course, around here today, they had quite a few Prati signs. So it'll be banner night. Uh, there, there's Beckenbauer in the other booth. I just got to look at him. But uh, it's going to be a heck of a good night. Uh, next Friday night, July 6th, as we pay, play the Dallas Tornado, 10 Cent Genesee Beer Night, and of course, Banner Night. Okay, as we mentioned, Chuck, we're at halftime, and the score is 2-1. to one. There you see the first half stats, and look at the uh, shots, Chuck. Yeah, the, uh, the Cosmos out shooting us 17-6. to six. I counted at least four shots by Mourinho and uh, two beautiful saves by Shep Messing out of those uh, 17 shots. Now, when the fullbacks get four shots, one fullback, that's significant, as I can see it. Okay, Shep Messing with six saves and Bursic of the Cosmos with four saves. There's, there have been uh, nine fouls called against Rochester, seven by the Cosmos, one yellow card to, uh, I think it was Demir Sutevsky get the yellow card? Yeah, Demir Sutevsky received the yellow card. Demir that was really been playing an outstanding game. Super game. Not only the goal, but he's uh, he's had two it going back and forth. There's some more beautiful banners out there on the field. I hope that we can get our cameras. We'll catch a look at some of those banners. They are superb. And uh, we want to be able to match that at Hollander Stadium next week. Corner kicks, uh, Cosmos have had five, the Lancers one, offsides, two apiece, and one caution against Rochester, and uh, nothing against Cosmos. Okay, one of more halftime activities coming up. The Lancers leading it by a score of two to one, and we are at halftime, and we'll be back with more halftime activities right after this. Those are really cute. Did you? Giant Stadium, and we're at halftime with the Lancers leading by a score of two to one. They have all kinds of things going on out here, Chuck. Uh, we have clowns and Bugs Bunny, and uh, uh, quite a night for the kids. Banner night here, and as you mentioned, banner night coming up at Hollander very shortly. Yep, Friday night, July 6th, and uh, I'll tell you, the clowns are just delightful out there. It's a very colorful place here. I'm certainly happy that the uh, that the rain has stopped, and I hope that uh, the rain does stop, because this has been too good a game to be marred by a lot of rain and thunder and lightning. Okay, let's take a look at those first two goals uh, by the Lancers, Chuck. Uh, the first goal uh, scored by um, Sutevsky. Yeah. And a nice feed by Gergerev. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. 
Right now we got the clowns out there performing. Yeah. And he just scored a goal. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> so we have uh, Franz Beckenbauer here in the uh, in the uh, in our booth, and we're going to interview Franz in a minute. But of course, Tom is downstairs in the in the truck. So uh, okay. we'll, we'll be. All right. And then uh, the clowns are doing a good job out there in the meantime. It's certainly been a colorful night. All right, we got those goals coming up, uh, Chuck. The first goal, as we mentioned, uh, goal uh, scored by Demir Shatevsky. And the second goal was scored by Prati, his third goal of the season for the Lancers. And his third goal in just a game and a half. He scored two in our victory at home. Lancers winners of their five of the last six games. Uh, replay so we will not be able to bring him to you I'll just recap the scoring once again uh, the Cosmos scored first Ricky Davis his second of the season assisted by Bogushevich his 13th of the season the time of that goal was 15 16 the Lancers did come back as uh, Demir Chutevsky headed in a, a nice feed by Fred Gergerev. That was an 1805. And then uh, Piero Prati assisted by Palahan and Sagoda. And uh, right now, Chuck is over with uh, probably one of the finest soccer players playing in the National North American Soccer League today, Franz Beckenbauer. Chuck, take it away. We're here at uh, beautiful Meadowlands, and with me is the man they call Der Kaiser, Franz Beckenbauer. Franz, I'm very happy you're not out on their field, but I'm also concerned about your, your yourself. How are you feeling? How's your leg? And uh, when do you think you'll be back? Yeah, I feel very well. After the knee operation, you know, I got the knee operation five weeks ago, and now I feel uh, very well. I walk out every day, weight lifting and this. It's very boring, but I have to do to bring the muscle back, and so I hope I'm able to play in two or three weeks. Well, and maybe we'll see you in Rochester. They're always good I to don't see you. When, when is the game in Rochester? It's, it'll be late in August. So oh, you, yeah, yeah, that for sure, yeah. Well, good for you, but bad for us. But, Franz, what do you think about the uh, the first half? How did you see it? Uh, I'm very impressed about the, the Lancaster team uh, because you know the Cosmos they have a very good lineup uh, many many uh, good and many uh, good stars and the Lancers they play they are playing a pretty good team a, a, pretty good, a game and so I think the 2-1 leading is it's all right well, yeah. thank, we think it's okay too France France is so great having you here and thank you very much for coming on you know I hope that uh, that you will be ready for us in Rochester we certainly uh, you've always been a great competitor and you've always been a credit to the game how do you see the uh, Cosmos doing in this we're in the toughest division of Rochester Toronto Washington uh, a word what do you think about this division we're in uh, I think we uh, we are have the, the toughest division in, uh, in in the in the whole league. Uh, I think the, we go back to the Cosmos team. I think the Cosmos team is the best team in the league, and I hope, of course, we win the championship again. Well, I hope you don't. I hope we do, but it'll be certainly be exciting. I, I also hope the Rochester Lancers come to the playoffs. We hope we will too. To beat you, by the way, Franz. I hope so. Mr. Franz, thank you very much. Good luck, and we hope to see you in Rochester. Thank, thank you very you. much, Franz Beckenbauer, Dirk Kaiser. Good to see you. Thank you. Okay, Chuck. Thank you. That's Franz Buckenbauer. And of course, he's uh, not on the field tonight. He's on the 21 day disabled list, and uh, they have quite a few injuries. Cosmos do, as well as other problems. But uh, we're still at halftime, and we'll be right back with more halftime activities right after this. Welcome back, everybody, to the Meadowlands Giant Stadium. We're at halftime, 2-1 to one in favor of the Lancers, an upset over the uh, Cosmos. And as you might well recognize, this very popular face, this is Pelé. And what a pleasure it is, Pelé, to be talking to you. Thank you very much for the time. And please tell us how you've been. Thank you very much. I was in Brazil. I arrived just today to see the game. And I enjoyed the game. The first half, very good. No one could analyze the first half play better than yourself. What about the play of your old team? Uh, not quite up to par or what? No, uh, Rochester played very good in the defensive system. They close very nice down. I don't think that they uh, could uh, support now the pressure because I, I see some players from the Rochester team. They come a little bit down, the physical condition, the force. Maybe Cosmo can make some goal now in the second half. If you were on the Cosmos team at halftime with the situation being as it is, your team down two to one, you've seen the first half of play, what would you be doing as a coach and as a player? I'm sure everyone would enjoy hearing that. No, I think as a ever coach in this situation, send the, the whole team forward in the second half because the last game at home, 
2-1. Rocha has to play more defensive system. Then I think Cosmo has to play more uh, square, use more the wings because the Stewart played very good tonight. And uh, maybe we can go to, to the, the Rochas box. Pelé, we have a marvelous crowd here, mostly because of you. You did so much for the game. We thank you very much, and it's an honor to meet you, certainly, and thanks again for the time. Best of luck in your future. Quickly, what is your future? Thank you all for supporting me. I stay here with the soccer camp now, Pelé Soccer Camp. Then I back uh, uh, September. I start school in Brazil with the kids there. Very good. Pelé, a pleasure. Meet you. Why don't we go back upstairs to Ron? I believe we're about ready for the start of the second half. Two to one, Lancers. Okay, the great Pele. Let's take a look at the, uh, the goals that we scored in the first half. Lancers leading it two to one. Second half kickoff just about underway, and uh, we're just about ready to bring them up here. Here, here we go. We're trying to get the goal. Here's the first Lancer goal and across. Well, this is the second Lancer goal across from Palahan and a beautiful headshot by Prati at 21-28. That was the second Lancer goal. At least we caught that one. That was an, elite, an assist from Bronco to Palahan. Palahan left footing it over the center and Prati there with a magnificent headshot. His second headshot, by the way, his second goal by the head of the season. Okay, the second half is underway. The Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1. to one. You heard from Franz Beckenbauer and the great Pele. And a, what a great crowd here at Giant Stadium to watch this game. Of course, they always draw well here. There's a whistle. Foul on Stojanovic for holding Bandov. Cosmos now moving from left to right. They're, of course, in the home white. Lancers in their blue and gold. Here's Bogoshevitz. Bogey, the quarterback, gets it over to the right-hand side. And the Lancers come back. Nice little chip in there by Bronco Segoto. Over to Mike Stanovich. Mike Stanovich still controlling. And he gets knocked down. We have a whistle. It'll be Lancer ball. Jim Hyatt uh, saw that. Boris Vandoff pulled him right down by a right shoulder. Vandoff wasn't down. too happy about it either. No, well, he did. It was a good technical foul. It was the same type of foul that we've seen Fosnick and Miatovic call. Uh, so it'll be Lancer ball. No changes as the second half just underway. Stojanovic wants to take it, and so does Bronco Segota. Okay, and uh, we'll see. And uh, there's a little chip. Tried to get it into Gergerev, but the Cosmos have it. This is Bandoff. Bandoff gets it off to Mourinho, and uh, the Cosmos bring it down. Mourinho directing traffic. He gets it over to Alberto. Here's Alberto. Alberto over the center stripe. Alberto over in the right-hand side of Bogey. Nice play by Bogey. Over the left-hand side. Bogey trying to come back in. There's Bronco getting it off to Shep, and Shep holds on. And the Lancers will bring it back. 43-04. We're in the second half. Lancers leading it by a score of 2-1. to one. Shep taking his time. And he'll boot it out. Here's Prati. It goes into touch. It'll be Lancer throw in. Prati, the old Italian pro, not rushing. Now he knows that we're ahead. The thing is to, to get them all nervous and excited and just to take your time. But I'm sure that's what Coach Popovich instructed his players at halftime. Here's Alberto getting it way down, trying to get it over to Canalia, but Nick Mianovic broke it up there. Foslitz gets it out, and it comes back to Maurice. Here's Marais. Marais gets it over to Bogey. Bogey on the right-hand side to Tuart. Here's Tuart, marked by Jim Pollahan. Here's Tuart trying to go, and he crosses it. Inside. And then a header and a score! That was Liverich. Yep. I think he surprised Shatevsky. He surprised Shatevsky. Shatevsky was waiting, was waiting for the ball. Now here we go. Look at it. Look at look at the play here. You see the play is right down the right hand side. There's Stewart crossing the ball. Now watch how Shutevsky waits. Shutevsky waits. And as he waits, Liverage comes in from the outside, heads it right past Shep. Really uh, an impossible play for Shep to get to. Great cross and one that you know caused a problem right there. That's why Stewart is so dangerous. He gets over there on that right hand side, crosses him in. The score is now tied 2-2. There's a cross. 
Over to Bronco. Bronco over to Mike Stanovich. Broken up in there by Bandoff. He gets it out. Cosmos coming back now. They have new life. They just tied it up. Sila, Foslich. Lancers have it. Back to Sila. Sila down the right-hand side. Sila with all kinds of room. Down the right. Here's a pass inside, and they call a uh, whistle. Call off sides. 40-51 remaining in the first half. It's all tied at 2-2. Cosmos scored the first goal of the game in the first half. Lancers came back with two straight, and the Cosmos just tied it up. So the Cosmos now bringing it back. Over to Alberto. Broken up there by Bronco Segota. Here's Bronco Segota going after it. Bronco still has control of it. Here's a shot inside, and it's just over. Almost got over. First hitch is head. Versus just did get up there, and by the tip of his fingers, now knocked look it at down. This. Look at look at Segoda going in for it. He's being shielded, and then the ball is just clear to Bursic. Great save by Bursic, or a sure goal. Might even been an own goal. Mark Leverett scored that fourth goal of the game, assisted by uh, Bogusevich and Dennis Stewart. Left there by Bogey. Bogey, all by himself over here on the right-hand side. There's a cross inside. We have an offsides. Whistle was called for an offsides. Score tied at 2-2, 39-53 remaining, and uh, we'll be right back with more Lancer Soccer 79 in a moment. Hey, the Lancers, it'll be Husa taking the corner. Here it comes. Here's Prate going in, and a save by Bursic. So the Cosmos coming back. It's all tied at 2-2, 38-22 remaining in the second half. At the center stripe. Davis gets it over to the right-hand side. Working it around outside. Alberto has it now. Cosmos trying to set it up. Inside the Liverich. Liverich has scored the goal. Husa gets it back to Mianovic, but Alberto right there. Here comes Alberto. Offside. Offside. And the Lancers coming back. There's Prate. Prate with a nice give and go back to Jimmy Fallahan. Jimmy Fallahan racing down the left hand side. Here he comes. Here's a shot by Jimmy Fallahan. Nobody there that's headed in. Prate just off to the left hand side. Somebody, uh, somebody cleared it with their head from the um, from beautiful putt. Across by Jimmy Pauly and left hand again, and then there it was a nice clear by Boris Bandoff. Ooh, right over the crossbar. What a burning shot by was that uh, was that Franco Segoda? Yeah, right on goal. Oh, Tom Pippins is back with us. Here it is. Look at this shot. Just just skimming over the bar. Look at that. Look at that. Just touching the bar. Cosmos coming back. Mourinho. That was a nice giving goal from Prate to Jimmy Pollahan. Here comes Dennis Stewart, wrong right-hand side. Breel and Foslich over there to knock it in the touch. It'll be a throw-in for the Cosmos. This is Morace. Morace gets it inside. Over here to Mourinho. Mourinho being covered by Husha. It'll be a free kick. Goes over to Morais. Morais all by himself on the right-hand side. And wide right. Well, soccer fans, the Lancers are getting a very good response to camp just for kicks, the official summer camp of the Rochester Lancers. If your son or daughter is between the ages of 6 and 17, why not have them learn soccer from the pros? The Lancers have two one-week sessions in July for $75 each. The staff is comprised entirely of the Lancers coaches and players. The cost includes a daily lunch, an NASL soccer ball, a Lancer t-shirt, and tickets to an upcoming Lancers match. If you are interested in making your son or daughter a better soccer player and at the same time having some fun, then call the Lancers office right now at 232-2420. They'll be happy to mail you a brochure and application. Throw in for the Lancers. That'll be a no, kick. Direct it was kick. a foul. Direct shot. Stoinovich okay, is lining up to take it. Yeah. There's a small wall set up. Just two players. This is similar to the corner. Stoli is complaining that there's not enough space. He doesn't have 10 yards. That's what well, the referee's coming over now. He's going to pull out a yellow card. Who's that going to? What's he pulling out of his back pocket? Nothing yet. <laughs> now, now they're coming back. He's oh, got him back. Okay, there Stoli he was right to wait. Okay. Here comes Mike with the kick. Here's the shot. Chipped it over. 
Usa with a header. Oh, and a nice scissors in there, but it didn't work. Freddy Gergerup with a nice try. He tried the scissor kick, he just didn't get enough of it. So the Cosmos coming back now. It's all tied at 2-2, 35-19. Cosmos coming back, Alberto. Alberto over left-hand side. Gabbett gets it over to uh, Liverich. Liverich who scored the goal. Here's a pass inside. Broken up there by Husa. That's Mourinho. Mourinho with a little chip. Jatevsky and Shep Messing comes out and makes the save. 35 minutes remaining in the second half. All tied 2-2. And uh, Lancer Soccer 79 will continue. Well, we're not going anywhere. Okay. There's a whistle. Referee says play on. Cosmos get it back. Lancers have it now. Bronco Segoda. Mark over to Prate. Here's Prate. Rack to Bronco. Here's Bronco with a hard shot. Hits Mourinho in the back. And, Mourinho and the Cosmos it. coming back. Mourinho felt that shot, Rod. You had to. Moraes. Here's Moraes. Moraes over the center stripe. Dribbling in. Has a lot of room. Moraes shovels over. Bogey. Bogey in the right hand side. Directing traffic. Giorgio Canalia. 19th goal of the season. Here we go. We're going to see the play now. Now here, here's Bogey. You can see Bogey just waiting. Just waiting. As Bogey waits, he takes a left-footed pass to to Canalia. Canalia just puts it right by Sion, uh, by uh, sliding Shep Messing. So the Cosmos have rallied back to take a three-to-two lead. 33-23 remaining in regulation. Cosmos coming back again. Mourinho. Mourinho with a give and go over to Liverich. Liverich passes it inside back to Tuart. Here's Tuart. Gets it outside to Bogey. Bogey with his uh, arms up again. Almost knocked away by Sila. Liverich all by himself. And a save by Shep Messing. Would have gone wide right. Bogey and uh, Kinalia, two of the premier players in Europe combining on that goal. Now, Bogey is one of the highly technical players in all of Europe, and he comes to the Cosmos rated as one of the very finest. And he set up that goal with that brilliant pass. I think he actually eye-faked and then set it up. Well, Bogey... Came into this match with 12 assists. He's picked up an assist in all three goals, I believe. There's a foul there. 12 assists already, Ron, huh? Coming in. Coming into he, the game. He led the club last year with 17. Mm -hmm. So he's having an even better year in that department than usual. He's a key to the club, no doubt. Lancer's coming back now. Here's Demir. Demir Zatepsky. That was a good feed inside, but it was broken up by the Cosmos. It'll be a throw in Lancers into Sela. Sela back to Bronco Segoda. Here's Bronco. Bronco being checked by Mourinho. That was an offside call. That was Freddy Gergerev trying to trying to go over the defender, but uh, it didn't work. We have 31-42 remaining in the match in regulation. Cosmos lead it 3 to 2 and we'll have more Lancer Soccer 79 in a moment. Two Cosmos on the attack once again. Here's a pass inside with a cross. Giorgio Canalia going after it. Zutevsky heads it away. Inside Ryan. And it goes over the goal. Looks like it'll be a corner kick. That's Greg Ryan, number 12. Just came into the game for Terry Garbett, number uh, 14. Stewart. <laughs> Dennis Stewart makes it 4-2, to two. Cosmos. Just over Shep Messing's outstretched arm. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Now here it goes. There's Bogacevic with a beautiful left-footed chip. 
and there's Stewart off his forehead in the far hand corner. Shep's trying to get there, can't get there, just over his fingertips, and just makes it. A perfect goal by Dennis Stewart. Uh, Stewart and Canalia scored the last two goals for the Cosmos. The same two guys that beat us here last year, scoring two goals apiece. It'll be Lancer throw in. Cosmos leading it now by a score of 4-2, coming up with three goals here in the second half so far. 29 minutes remaining in regulation. Raylan Foslich into touch. It'll be a throw-in for the Cosmos. And Bogey has certainly keyed both goals with the outstanding passes from his midfield position. Filet was saying his club would have to come out and be much more aggressive. They've certainly been that in this second yeah. half. Mourinho has really picked him up, and Bogacevic in the midfield. And we have a whistle. Bogey, who stands probably about four inches taller than uh, Sela, collided. He's getting a talking to now. He's a rugged player at 6'1", 180. Uses that size to good advantage uh, from the midfield position. Goes over to Bogey now. He has it. Bogey sending it up. Way over here to Maurice on the right-hand side. He heads it. But it's knocked out by Sagoda. Sagoda gets it all the way down here to Prate. Prate stays on side. He's got Mike Stanovich all by himself. Inside of Mike. Mike should. They score! Oh, no. Offside. No. Offside. They're falling. No goal. No goal. That's Offside. a tough call. That's a tough one. Cosmos coming back. There's Stewart. Stewart inside. There's a whistle. Here we go now. You see Prati comes in. Prati penetrates. Stoli stays back. Now, there it is. It looks like Stoli was offside on the pass. That's a difficult situation. It's hard to stay on sides in a situation like that, especially when you have a two-on-one situation. Okay, here comes a kick. Bogey. We'll do it. Bogey with a cross to Canadia over the crossbar. 27-18 remaining. Cosmos lead at 4-2. to We'll be back in a moment. Here come the Cosmos back. Nick Mianovich breaks it up. Uh, Lancer's down by a score of 4-2. to Bronco Sagoda has it. Sagoda, long pass over to Prati. Goes over Prati's foot and into touch. We have a substitution. Val Tuska making his debut with uh, the Lancers. Val replacing Hartmut Husa. Val Tuska for Husa. Tuksha just made uh, available today. All the paperwork was completed. He was to play 45 minutes, but I'm sure that Popovich figured with the 2-1 lead at the half, why not keep the winning uh, combination? So he goes in for Husa now to try to generate some aggressiveness from the uh, midfield position. He has it now. Here's Gagurev. Here's Gagurev trying to uh, center, but it's broken up there by Ryan. Another substitution for the Cosmos, Greg Ryan, a new acquisition. He came from Tulsa for ex-Lancer keeper Jack Wren, and that deal just completed uh, last week. Here's Tuska. Lancer still have it. That's Zutepski trying to center it, and it goes into touch. Ron, while we have a moment, if I might, we uh, have learned that Bogey has four assists in this game for the Cosmos. Now, he tied a North American Soccer League regular season record with four assists in one match last year. So unofficially, depending on what has happened this season, he may well have tied that mark again. Playing a key role. The wind has picked up. The rain is falling once again. Here's Bronco Sagoda colliding with Mark Liverich. Look at that took shit. Look at his leg work. He has legs, too. Oh, boy. Here's Mourinho. Cosmos coming back. Mourinho with a long pass over the left-hand side. Here's Liverich, broken up by Foslich. Freddy Gagurev gets it back to Bronco Sugoda. Bronco quickly passes it over to Mike. Stanovich, Stanovich knocked out, slips down. Alberto <laughs> knocked him down and helped him up. And the Cosmos coming back. It's getting pretty slick out there now. Rain falling heavily, wind picking up. We have 24-29 remaining in regulation. Cosmos leading it, 4-2. Tuska 
Tuska into the danger zone. Nice pass. Here's Freddie with a shot. Wide right. Corner kick. Corner, corner kick. Well, everybody, Friday night at Hollander Stadium, the Lancers will try to gain revenge over the Dallas Tornado, led by Willie Lippins and Wolfgang Rausch. Friday night is 10 Cent Beer Night, with 10 Cent Beer served from 7 to 8 p.m. Friday night, also Henrietta Night, and don't forget the Toronto Blizzard are at Hollander Stadium Wednesday, July 11th. Both matches start at 8 p.m. Run. Run, there was a little bit of confusion there who was to take the corner kick, because Husa usually takes it, and Tuksha, of course, being his first game, he didn't realize he was to take it. Well, he takes it. There's a shot off the crossbar. Oh, what a tough break. Rothy with a header off the crossbar. Well, Prati really is effective from those corners with the, with the head shot. Prati and Gergerev are right there together. Here's Prati now. Prati gets it back to Sela. Sela inside. Broken up by the Cosmos. This Marie's coming back. But here's Sela. Sela gets it. Sela over Nick Mianovic. Here comes Nick. Nick with a pass over the right-hand side. Here's Sutepski. Sutepski. Alberto has it now. Lances still have it. Here's a shot. High. 23.05. Remaining Cosmos lead of 4-2. to We'll be back in a moment. We have 20 falling now at Giant Stadium. Falling in sheets. Cosmos lead it by a score of 4-2. There's a shot wide left. We'll see if it was deflected, and I think it was. Yeah, it was. There you see it. Rain oh, coming down. Rain come down. And the thunder is coming up again. We're knocked off the air <laughs> as we open the show today. Let's hope we don't get knocked off again. Here's Bogey now. Bogey on the left-hand side. Here's Ryan. Ryan gets it back to Mourinho. Really coming down now. Coming down in sheets. Here's Freddie. Freddy Gagurev gets it back to Shep Messing. Fellas, it's early yet, but we're going to have to start considering our lifting offensive and defensive players of the game, I believe. Uh, th there's going to be another substitution. Look at this rain. I've never seen it so heavy. It is really coming down. It looks like a Broncos really coming is coming down. out. And Ibrahim Silva's coming in. Charlie Ibrahim a, Silva. Excuse me, Ronnie. Charlie, would a match in this league ever be stopped for something like this if it was to continue? It would only be stopped if, the, if there was danger of thunder or lightning, rather, or if it was so heavy you couldn't see either goal from one end, if you couldn't see the other goal from the far end. Ricky Davis in the corner. Gets it over to Tuart. Here's Tuart. Tuart getting around Buzzlitz and a shot by Canalia. Tuart and Canalia teamed up for another goal. Here it is. Tuart made a brilliant play. Here it is. We're going to see it now. Tuart. Tuart coming in. You see him steal the ball, get around Foslick, and he penetrates very deep. He's very looking for Giorgio. He waits until Giorgio is there, lets it go with his right foot. Giorgio just ticks it by, just had to touch it. Well, they're hollering for a timeout. Trying to get a timeout, trying to stop the clock. Clock is still running. Referees trying to stop the clock. And they finally do. Giorgio Canalia, second goal of the match. Here there is a substitution, Carbon Gennari, number 16. But go ahead, uh, Tom. And while we have the opportunity, as you see, uh, camp just for kids starting July 9th, and the number to call for that, 232-2420. The Lancers getting a very good response. If you're between the age of 6 and 17, why not learn from the pros? The Lancers will have two one-week sessions in July for $75 each, and the staff is comprised entirely of the Lancers, coaches, players as well. The cost includes daily lunch, NASL soccer ball, Lancer t-shirt, tickets to an upcoming Lancers match as well. And if you're interested in making your son or daughter a better soccer player and at the same time having some fun, then do call the Lancers office right now at that number you saw earlier, 232-2420, and everybody at the office will be happy to mail you a brochure and an application. Look where Alberto is, right next to the goal. And he finally goes back. Uh, we have another substitution. 
Carbonjani is coming in, number six, number 16. Antonio Carbonjani. Uh, I think he may be replacing Mourinho. I don't see Mourinho out there. I don't see Mourinho out there either. He did replace Mourinho. Mourinho had gone into the infield, I mean the midfield rather, when uh, when uh, Greg Ryan went to right fullback or left fullback. So that's the third, second substitution for the Cosmos. Lancers have made two substitutions so far. Antonio Carbonati. He was signed by the Cosmos in February from Ecuador. He can play offensive or defensive midfield. Skillful, very active, a citizen of Argentina. Well, we have 18-29 remaining in the match with the Cosmos leading it by a score of 5-2. to two. Here's Ricky Davis over on the right-hand side. Ricky being marked by Jimmy Pollahan. Stewart knocked out by Nick Mianovich. Stewart with one goal in the match. And uh, Giorgio Canelli with two. Backed away there by Tushka. Here's Bogey coming back. And it is really raining here at Giant Stadium. <coughs> really coming down. How the Cosmos have controlled that ball this second half. Virtually dominated play. Can't tell the Lancers anymore with, <laughs> with their hair all slicked down. That's Prade. Inside Ibrahim Silva. Here's Silva. Silva trying to get around Alberto. He has Tushka behind him. Pass inside. Broken up there by Morais. Lancers still have it, but it's broken up by the Cosmos. Cosmos coming back now. Bogey on the right-hand side. Over to Ricky Davis. Here's Foslich coming back. And Bursic comes in and makes a save. Going into the second half, the Lancers held a 2-1 to one lead over the Cosmos. Cosmos... Coming up with four goals here in the second half. Giorgio Canalia leading the way. Bogi Bogoshevich with the assist. Canalia with two goals. Tuart with one. Here comes Tuart now. Here's Foslitz trying to outrace him. Tuart still has it. And there's a whistle. A little bit of argument there between Foslick and uh, Tuart. You can see Foslick coming in, Tuart, and they're both, they both collide. Uh, the foul is called right there where Foslick pushes him. The rain that seems to have let up a little bit, but is still coming down in drizzles. So that'll be a direct kick. And that was Liberich trying to come in. He scored one goal that way. We have 16-26 remaining in the match. With the Cosmos leading it 5-2. to two. We'll be right back. Here come the uh, Lancers back. There's a the pass by Sila, but it's broken up by Morais. Here's Alberto for the Cosmos. Cosmos. Long pass down here to Gary Ethendry. He just entered the game. That's Jimmy Pollahan getting it back to... Um, Jeff Messing. Look at this. They're, they're bailing out the uh, front row <laughs> with their beer cups. We have had a lot of rain. Etherington. So uh, I'm sorry, Ron. Etherington replaced Tuart, who had such a marvelous game. Etherington, by the way, the North American Soccer League Rookie of the Year last year. He has played very little. July 7th is the deadline. The reports are that Etherington wants out. Part of that controversy we talked to you about before the match. Here's Zatevsky. Zatevsky over to Silva. Silva tried to uh, center it, but it was broken up in there by Ricky Davis. It'll be a throw in for the Lancers. We have 14.38 remaining in regulation. Mike Stanovich gets it back to Tushka. We have an offsides call. Cosmos playing the offside trap just the way the Lancers have been playing it, and they caught the, Lan the Lancers an offside trap that time. Kinalia came into this league, speaking of the man who's had two goals tonight uh, and now has 20 on the season. Well, he just had such a marvelous game that in 158 games in this league since 76, he has scored 149 goals. Certainly the Babe Ruth, if you will, of soccer. What a, the, Perhaps, Charlie, the premier goal scorer today. Uh, no doubt about it. He certainly is. Well, in this match, he scored his 19th and 20th goals. Yes. Stewart with a goal. Liverich with a goal. He has it right now. He passes it over to Bogey. Bogey with a basket full of assists in this match, too. Here's Alberto. 
Alberto with a give and go. Little chip inside. Here's Etherington to Canalia. Wide right. Nice save. It's going to be a corner kick for the uh, Cosmos, but a nice save. That's a little tap there by Canalia and Chet Messing. Here we got on the play coming back. Here it is. The cross comes in there. And now you see Etherington going wide, sending it with his right foot right across, and there is Canalia. And he just, uh, Shep slaps it, and Canalia kicks it wide. And when they get up, Canalia planted Shep on the back. He's had his two goals for the game. He's happy. Deep down in the corner. Oh, that's out of bounds. Yeah, it was out of Far bounds, kick. and the referee is calling it. That was Bog uh, Bogoshevitz with Silva marking him. It did go uh, over the goal, so it will be a corner kick for the Lancers. Ibrahim Silva will take it. Here it is. Goes out to Sila. Silo broken up there by Ricky Smith, and a save by Bursich. David Bursich in goal for the Cosmos. 40,379. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they do have the right fellow here. The pool director yeah, just <laughs> arrived. Take care of the situation. I'll tell you, there's enough <laughs> We've water. accumulated a lot of swimming pools here in the course of the match. A hard-fought match and a good match, too. Here's Canelia! Wide right. 12.05 remaining in the regulation. Cosmos lead it 5-2, and we'll be right back. over 11 minutes remaining in the match. The Cosmos leading it by a score of 5-2. to two. Lancers uh, went into the second half leading 2-1, to one, but the Cosmos with four straight goals. And a margin now of three. Cosmos have it. Alberto. Alberto over the center stripe. Over to Bogey on the right-hand side. Bogey giving instructions. He has uh, Ricky Davis over on the right-hand side by himself, but he goes left instead. Nothing but uh, Lancers over there. And the rain starting to fall again. There was a whistle. Here's Ibrahim Silva. Silva with a pass down to Mike Stanovich. Here's Mike bringing it back. Gets it over to Tushka. Tushka. Tushka gets it inside. Mike Stanovich runs into uh, a defender over there. And it's going to be Cosmo's ball. That was Morris uh, Bandoff that yeah, he ran into. You can see that play right there. Tuxa coming through. And finally the ball, uh, Stanovich being knocked down and then the ball being kicked out of bounds. That was Boris Bandoff that he collided with. Alberto has it. Cosmos bringing it back. Here's Sutepsky. Cosmos still have it. Mark Liverich does a lot of running around out there. He's a left wing. Pass over to the right-hand side to Morais. Here comes Morais over the center stripe. Alberto, long pass. Broken up by Nick Mianovic. Shadowed by Ricky Smith, but he gets it over. Petushka. Goes back to Sutevsky. Sila has it now. Over on the right side, here's Tuchka. Tuchka still has it. Centering pass, right in the belly of Alberto. Cosmos come back, 9.25 remaining. Cosmos leading it 5-2. to two. Bogey has it. Bogey over to Ricky Smith. No, Ricky Davis, excuse me. Here's a pass down here to Etherington. And it'll be a goal kick for the Lancers. Nine minutes remaining. Cosmos lead at five to two, and we'll be right back right after this. Along with Tom Pippen's match, a little over seven minutes. Cosmos coming back with four goals here in the second half to lead the Lancers five to two. Lancers went into the uh, first half, or went out of the first half into the second half with uh, a two to one lead on goals by Zutevsky and Prati. Prati's third in just uh, less than two games. Tushka has it. And we have another whistle, and we have a timeout, and we're going to have Luis Alberto, I think, coming in. He's in for uh, Renato Chila. Renato Silla. Oh, I'm sorry. He's in for Gergerak. 
And uh, you see that the next television game you can see on Channel 13 will be the Lancers versus Toronto from Exhibition Stadium in lovely Toronto. That will be Wednesday night, July 18th, and the kickoff is at 7.30. So we hope you'll join us. Okay, next Lancer game, of course, will be July 4th at Tampa Bay. The Lancers will go right from New York to Tampa Bay. And then back home for three straight home games, starting Friday against Dallas. A week from Wednesday, uh, we'll be taking on uh, Toronto. Here comes uh, here comes Tushka. Look how tough this man is. Steps right into the ball, kicks it away, and uh, that's the type of defensive yes. midfielder strength you're going to need in this league. Tuk's a former first division Yugoslavian player. Popovich feels he's a oh, good Oh, nice one. play. Excuse me, Tom. Nice little give and go there. Good reaction by Messing in goal. Tell us about Tuska. Tuk's, I was saying, is a, uh, a first division Yugoslavian player, and Popovich says he is an excellent player. He told me last week he will be very much a help to us if we can get him, and of course he's here tonight. All well, playing in this game will give him a little bit of playing time, get him used to the team. Ricky Davis. Try to go around Marilyn Foslitz, broken up there by Foslitz. Foslitz pushed away, keeps going. Charlie, how would you analyze the play of Messing in goal? Do you feel that uh, basically there was uh, defensive breakdowns when the goals were scored, or could Shep have made stops on occasion? Well, I think a couple of them Shep should have stopped. I, I really do. I think he should have come out for that cross on the last goal. Uh, Tour did, uh, you know, did was able to make the curve, but uh, I, I would say that he should have made that last cross. Certainly had a brilliant first half of play, yeah. but then the Lancers were just tremendous as a team. I think that in itself is encouraging. This has been a good effort tonight. Oh, it's been a, a really super effort, you know, and I, uh, the Cosmos came out and did just what Pelé said they were going to do. Bring it wide and bring it in. Square the ball to the wings, use the wings more, and that's where the goals came from, from the wings. Have to pick a, an offensive and defensive player of the game. Tap inside! Oh, the crossbar! And out here with a chance for the hat trick. He just stands back there, hands over his head. He had his third goal when off the post. Ron, I understand officially tonight we don't have to do that, but uh, Charlie, why don't we play a little game here? If you were to pick an offensive and defensive player, who would you go with? Well, uh, I, I think I'd go with Bogey offensively. You'd have to. The yeah. four assists. I th it, okay. There's Kanadi's shot off the distance. Look how it hits the post. It gives both both of us a couple of posts tonight. Cosmos bringing it back. We only have five minutes left with the score of 5-2. Cosmos leading it. Defensive player of the game. Uh, I liked Alberto for one. I thought he played very good okay. position defense. Yeah, I like Alberto. Uh, it's hard. Uh, he was the defensive player of the year in the North American Soccer League last year, so he isn't a bad choice. But we had some others, Charlie. We really yeah. did. Uh, Cosmo still attacking. Carbo Johnny with a shot broken up there by Tuska. Got his foot up there. And the Lance is coming back with Ibrahim Silva. Ibrahim Silva being marked by Ryan. Silva gets around Ryan as he slips down. Silva with a burst of speed. Alberto right there. That's the, the man we've been talking about. Silva I, gives I'd, him a little nudge. I'd go for Alberto as defensive player of the game. Okay, so our offensive defensive players. Uh, Bogey on offense and uh, Alberto on defense. I don't know who it's for, but... Not too bad players. Oh, for the radio. That was for the radio. For the radio. They wanted our offensive and defense. We'll have to find out who they picked, huh? Jim Pollahan. Oh! Shep had to come in and make the save. Offside, Still doesn't anyway. have it. Yeah, there were way offsides in that one. Uh, both Liverich and uh, Canalia were offsides. Here we go. Look at this on the disc. Now, there it is. But you can see the man offsides by a good four feet. There's Liverich. And he missed the head anyways. So. Yeah. Shep came in and made the save. 3.33. Rain picking up again. Score is 5-2. Cosmos lead it. Lancer's goal scored by Demir Sotevsky and Prate. Silva tried to get a shot off. Broken up by Ricky Davis. You know, fellas, I was saying to myself that it seems as if Prate has been shut down this second half. Stajanovic has been quiet, but I think it's more a case of the Lancers offensively not getting the opportunities because of the superb play uh, offensively at the midfield position. Uh, we talked about Bogey before in this second half by New York. Yeah, Bogey's been playing brilliantly. 
Nice pass inside the bogey. Broken up. Chef had to come out, make a sliding save. He had Canalia right next to him. Nelly with two goals so far in the match. And that gives him 20 for the season. God. <laughs> There's Maurice. Maurice had his hand on uh, Prati's of, of shoulder from behind. Now that really is a foul, and the Hyatt didn't see it. Two and a half minutes remaining. Maurice gets it over to Ricky Davis. Over to Alberto. Alberto tries a give and go, broken up at Tuska. Here's Silva. You know Silva Alberto? Back to Alberto. Alberto is going to be 35 years old later this month. He plays yes, he like is. a man 10 yep. years younger. Mm -hmm. Broken up by Etherington, pass inside to Canadian. Here comes Shep out, makes a save. Gets it off to Nick Mianovich, Lancers on the counter. We have two Albertos in here now. We have Lewis Alberto of the Lancers. And the Cosmos break it up. Nick Mianovich looking for a foul, and he gets one. A little over a minute and a half. We had a very exciting first half. And then the roof caved in on the Lancers. And there's uh, Julio Masai, the technical director and the lifelong friend of Pelé. Apparently gets along very, very well with the Latin players. One of the reasons he's in the position that he is. Well, I think that Julio and Pelé were responsible for uh, for Mourinho being mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read where uh, Pelé actually helped negotiate Mourinho's contract. Pass over the right hand side. You know, when you consider that Franz Beckenbauer is out and Werner Roth, they've been out, Beckenbauer with a, with a knee surgery, and this Neskins, who's supposed to be, perhaps, as we said earlier, the best midfielder who ever stepped on a field, it, it's just awesome what this team is and, and what they could be. They aren't even at full strength, supposedly. Right, Spurgeon, oh. who's been playing regularly mm -hmm. in defense. Another He's great up. player. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Well, we only have 45 seconds remaining in the match. Cosmos leading it over 40,000 here at Giant Stadium. I don't think many of them are around right now. Rain still coming down quite heavily. Here's Tuska. We have 30 seconds remaining. Here's Prati. Prati has it knocked away by Marais. Ronnie, the Lancers will go to uh, 15 and 4, and uh, or forgive me, the Cosmos will go to 15 and 4, and Rochester drops now to 8 up and 10 down. Lancers will go on now to Tampa Bay. This will be their second loss in the last seven games. And uh, they really put on a spurt early in this match. Two seconds, one second. The match is over. Cosmos win it by a final score of five to two. This is Ron DeFrance on behalf of Tom Pippins and Chuck Ciano. We'll see you in our next telecast, which will be Wednesday, July the 18th against Toronto at 7.30. Remember, the Lancers will be back home for three straight starting... Uh, Friday against Dallas. So long, everybody. has been Lancers Soccer 79. Today's game between the Rochester Lancers and the New York Cosmos has been brought to you in part by a company that knows an original when they see one, Xerox. By Mount Reed Toyota. Mount Reed leads the way for Toyota in Rochester. By Heisa Travel, taking care of all your travel needs. By Pepsi-Cola Bottlers of Rochester. And see the all-new Toyota Celica Supra. The powerful pleasure at your local Toyota dealer. You got it, Toyota. And by R.T. French Company, makers of French's mustard and hundreds of other delicious food products. Be sure to join us on July 18th at 7.30 p.m. as the Lancers travel to Toronto and take on the Toronto Blizzard. This has been a WOKR-TV sports exclusive. Free